Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we'll be seeing about how to choose a medical specialty after your undergraduation. So this is a very very important decision that you will have to make in your lifetime because your life is totally influenced by the decision that you are making because you are going to wake up, work and sleep with a specialty that, are you, that you are going to choose. So this is going to come with you for your life long. Now many of them may be confused about uh, what specialty to choose. So here in this video, I've given five basic steps or five questions that you should ask yourself before choosing into a specialty. So in this video, I've given some examples of which could uh, uh, better choose for a person of what kind. But for you, you should ask these questions to yourself and then answer accordingly. So in this video, mostly the information, the examples they have, that I have given are uh, from basically from the facts, factual data and the uh, data that have been found by researching it in the internet. Now, some data may not feel like it's usual for you. For example, if I say uh, that these are uh, tiring, tiring duties or only for surgery specialty, that, that is what the data says. But you may think that uh, even medicine is also tiring. So it's basically up to you on how you think because at the end of the day, it is you who are going to choose the specialty. So in this video, I'll be talking about the five basic questions that you'll be needing to ask yourself and you should think about it and finally choose a specialty. So let's start. Before we start this video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. So the first question that you will have to ask yourself is, what interests you? Is it that serving people interests you a lot? Then uh, specialties like community medicine or preventive and social medicine can be a good option for you. I'm not saying that only uh, community medicine people can serve, all the doctors can serve, but in community, community medicine, the serving, the serving the rural people, all those kind of things is uh, going to give a really big impact in your life and in your career. Now, next thing, if you see for the prestige in the society, then you can choose specialties like cardiology, or neurology, those kind of things. All the specialties are prestigious because uh, the uh, prefix doctor is a very special thing that you will get. So seeing in the society, some of the specialties that the factual data say, like cardiology, neurology, are said to be considered prestigious according to the factual data. Now, if you want to have a good work and life balance, then uh, options like dermatology, ophthalmology, radiology are good branches to choose because these branches do not have a lot of emergency cases and will have a very chill life. So work-life balance is very good in uh, specialties like dermatology, radiology, and etc. If you are a business-minded person, then specialties like dermatology can be good because in dermatology, you can also add the aesthetic care and all those kind of modern procedures, which are a very good business nowadays. So dermatology and even pain medicine, you can start your own pain clinic. You don't need to uh, depend on anyone else. So these are some uh, examples of uh, making a good business in specialities. So these are some of the examples that I have given here. Service-minded, prestige, prestige in the work, work-life balance business. So basically you will, you will have to ask yourself what is going to interest you and write down the list of uh, specialties that you think of. Then thinking about the work environment. So if you want to work in a hospital, then uh, specialties like surgery, interventional cardiology, anesthesia, neurosurgery, all those kind of things 
require a hospital setup to practice very well so these kind of specialties are very good if you want to work in a hospital specialty so if you want to do a private practice then any general practice like any diploma course like diploma in uh, diabetology and uh, for is for that say any internal medicine specialty you can have a good very good private practice very easily unlike other branches now if you want to do both if you want to work in the hospital as well as do a private practice then options like surgery obstetrics and gynecology or very good because in obstetrics and gynecology surgery these specialties in your private practice you can see the patients and schedule for a surgery because and that surgery will be held in the hospital because to have a private setup for this doing a surgery it's quite costly and it will take some time to do so what you can do is you can have your private practice and get to the get the patients to the hospital that you are and you can operate with the hospital that you are working in so this is basically about the work environment you can think of what are your strong areas this is the next thing that you should ask yourself so if you are strong in anatomy if your anatomy is very good then a surgical specialty will be very good for you if you are very good in pharmacology or biochemistry then specialties like anesthesia medicine are really good for you if you think you are good in uh, your skills then surgical any surgical specialty for that say is really good for you if you have very good presence of mind then emergency specialties are very good for you the emergency medicine branch is kind of a growing branch and if you think you can handle the stress if you can can handle if you have the presence of mind all those things then emergency medicine is quite growing and it's very good for you so these are some of the things that you will ask yourself so you should ask yourself what are your strong areas the strong area may be something apart from the four, four things i have given also so note note the strong areas that you have and write the specialties that uh, can come under those strong areas of yours the next thing that you should ask yourself is what are your weak areas so can you do tiring duties for example like surgery so you should ask yourself can you st stand for a long time so these are the things that you should ask yourself then are you good with children because choosing pediatrics you should think about these things do you have steady hands if you want to choose your surgical specialty then you should think about this can you manage stress almost every branch in medicine you you are going to have stress but if you can't manage stress then departments like dermatology radiology are good for you so write down your weak areas and the specialties that will suit for you and the final thing is about the financial aspects and this is the most important thing if you think financial aspect is not an issue then you can choose any branch if you want to have an average or good to average income then specialties like anesthesia general surgery general medicine all those things are very good but if you want to see more than average or very good income then specialties like neurosurgery interventional cardiologist dermatology orthopedics all those are very good choices but apart from this if you are good in your skills and if you are working honestly then any with any specialties you can earn a uh, very good money so these are just factual data that i have been uh, that i am giving here so if you think about all the five things that i have said here write down all your all the points about yourself then write down all the specialties that choose you then rule out each specialty and finally you will be left with two or three specialties and in that you will be choosing one which you think suits you the best so these are just my these are my advices and hope you like this and you can try all all these five thinking about all these five things and uh, you can drop down your answers in the comment section so that's all for today thank you everyone don't forget to subscribe